What's up, hotties? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Leslie, also known as the Hot Mommy. And although I'm in this cute sweatsuit right now, what I want to show you today is how to style a tennis skirt. It's one of my favorite items to have in a spring wardrobe. And if you've been wondering how you can wear yours, stay tuned. This video is just for you. Thanks for sticking around. I'm so glad to be with you again. You know that this is the hottest day of the week and I would hate for you to miss it. So if you haven't already, please be sure to click that bell and subscribe so that you always know when a new upload happens each Friday. If you're tuned into this channel, you know we love to talk about fashion. We love a good vlog. We also love some quality life hacks and always a fun trip. If you love that kind of lifestyle and more, this is the channel for you. Now, for me, tennis skirts are some of my favorite pieces in the wardrobe because I, one, love a mini skirt, two, my legs are my favorite asset, and three, because I think that they can be styled in a variety of different ways, from date night to casually to just running around town or even a day out with the girls. I want to show you how I will style two tennis skirts and two tennis skirt dresses that I have in my wardrobe so that if you've been on the fence about whether or not you should buy one, you know what to do. Okay, so for the first outfit, we're going to style this Joy Lab black sport tennis skirt from Target. Now, the reason I wanted to show you how to style this for a date is because I think when people see this in Target, they would automatically assume that it has to be used for working out or something very casual. But as you can see, with the right styling, you can really take this sort of sporty, you know, workout skirt and turn it into something very cute for a date. So I paired this with an organza button down shirt that I got from Zara. So you can see like the back is all see through. And what I love about this shirt is that it has a tie in the back that actually pulls it so that you can really get some shape around the body. If you wanted, you could undo it and it could be more flowy, but I love the fact that we kind of like are pulling it into our waist so that we're showing off, you know, more of our shape. And as you can see, it really pairs with the skirt well. Like, even though this is a workout skirt, the material is such that it can easily be dressed up. I'm pairing this with my Fendi bag. Um, I actually bought the chain that went to the bag so that it can also be used as kind of a belt. So I've worn this around my waist. I also at some point have like taken it off the bag and worn it as a necklace. But you know, you can wear this bag as a bracelet as well which I think is great for date night because what more do you need than a little lip gloss and your phone, <laughs> okay? And then I'm wearing these little mules that I got and that I picked up from Steve Madden, which are this beautiful like marigold, velvet, and seafoam green. I don't think you would normally think of those two colors going together, but when I saw this shoe, okay, I went in there to get my daughter a pair of shoes for winter form and I thought, those little shoes are cute. Like, I kind of like that. It was buy one get one half off so I figured why not. But this is great because it's like a springtime shoe but also partners well with the black, with the white, you know, brings a little color to the story so that you can tie in the gold and the accessories with this little marigold. So the shirt I'm wearing is just a regular like slightly ribbed tee from Zara as well. Something that's $12 perfect and really you have like a whole easy date night outfit with a skirt that you got in the workout section. Like, how cute is that? Okay, so now for our second styling, what we're gonna do is something that's really more traditional. Normally the whole like sporty look, you know, what the internets are now calling quote unquote old money. We not with that. <laughs> this is just a more traditional looking styling for a tennis skirt because in tennis, they normally would wear tennis whites. So this is just a white, like plain tennis skirt that I picked up at Aritzia probably two years ago-ish. I really love this skirt. One, because it's perfectly paired with so many things, but it goes really great with my Solomons, these tennis shoes that are probably some of the most comfortable tennis shoes I've ever purchased in my life. Let me tell you, when I first saw Solomons, I was like, okay, they're not really cute, right? But then the more I looked, I said, they actually are kind of cute and then I bought them and I was like and they're comfortable so if you've been on the fence just know that these right here they go up okay uh, I partnered it or paired it with my Lueve tank and while some people may feel like spending $300 for this tank top is really egregious 
I didn't because I like to wear luxury pieces. I'm a hoe for luxury. I'm a hoe for designer. I love it. And if I can justify the piece because I know it can go with a variety of different things in my wardrobe, then I don't see the issue with going ahead and making the purchase. I've actually gotten a lot of wear out of this tank top. And so I love it. I paired it with just this like regular plain cropped sweatshirt that I got from Zara, as you can see. And I'm going to wear my big Gucci Boston bag because I feel like this bag carries so much stuff. This actually could be a great travel bag. I don't usually travel with it because I like a tote, but this is a good bag that's going to always serve you. So I love the traditional sort of like styling of your tennis whites something that's going to look like you know what you've seen at a country club or at wimbledon or in indian wells and this is just a perfect look that you could run around town in you could do lunch with the girls in. but i also think that it's probably like the most standard way that a lot of people would wear a tennis skirt so it's not something out of the ordinary but it's always going to hit because it's so traditional it's going to be cute and you really can't go wrong I also wanted to show you what the outfit looked like with the sweatshirt on. I think that you could really pair your tennis skirt with a crop sort of sweatshirt like this or a really oversized sweatshirt. I love that look. I don't have an oversized sweatshirt right now that I love. I'm in the market for one and I've been looking all kinds of places. I'm likely going to land on an Anin Bean one, but I haven't yet been able to choose or decide. So right now we've got this cropped kind of look, but because it's still like a bit baggy, I think that it goes really well. I don't know if I would wear something super duper tight, but I like this look because it still gives casual while being put together. You feel good, you feel comfortable, and more importantly, you feel chic. Okay, now for this next look, I think that it's giving something that most people would probably consider unexpected. I am a huge fan of Doc Martens. I always have to have a pair in my closet. And so this is my pair of Chelsea boot docks. But I think pairing it with this tennis skirt dress that I got from Abercrombie is something that people likely wouldn't anticipate. I told y'all I love a baseball cap. And so for me, throwing on a hat, but putting on an unexpected shoe gives the look a little bit more like edge, a little bit more grunginess to it that I think some people don't think about when they talk about tennis skirts. So first of all, that Abercrombie rebrand was one of the best that I've seen in fashion probably in the past five to 10 years. The way that they were able to turn it around to the point that now folks are back to shopping it, um, you know, going there for jeans and staple items is really dope. And I will say that this is one of my favorite pickups from Abercrombie in the last year. I have two of these dresses. It's something that I go to all the time. And as you can see, it can be worn in such a variety of ways. I could have sandals on. I could wear tennis shoes. I have on these boots. You know, it really is just such a great dress. But also, one of my favorite parts is that it hooks in the back so that it can make sort of a racer back look and actually pulls you in tighter. Let's also note, this dress doesn't require you to have on undergarments. I literally do not have on a bra right now and it is super, super supportive. And for somebody that is considered busty, that's important to me because that's usually why I hate summer clothes because I have to wear all these undergarments, but shirts and dresses and things are not made to be worn with bras. This is a great alternative and a way to fix that. So I paired this dress with this oversized denim jacket that I got from Mango with my Chelsea Doc Martens, which I love. I love that just, it just kind of adds a little funkiness and like, you know, just a little oomph to an outfit. Uh, I'm wearing my Saint Laurent New Era um, collaboration cap. I have two of these. I have one in black and then I have a corduroy like navy blue one. And then my Louis Vuitton vanity like train case which I love. This has a strap, so it also could be worn crossbody, which I think would go with this outfit really well too. Um, I decided to go for like an oversized earring, obviously, because I'm wearing a hat. And so when you take away sort of the element and the styling of hair, you want to add something back to the look um, because it kind of like is covering up my face a bit. And you'll see I didn't put on any jewelry with this outfit too much because we have a lot of other like accessories going on. But this is something that I would wear like if I was just going to go out on the town, maybe I was just as <laughs> maybe I'm just hitting the streets as what my friends and I like to call a street day. So I'm getting lunch, going to a bar. Maybe I'm going to hang out at a kickback at someone's house. This to me is like a perfect look for that because I'm comfortable, but yet I look chic. I don't look, you know, like 
plain or not dressed up and it can take me to a variety of places and is an outfit that really can go from day to night if i take the jacket off it's giving very daytime but the moment i put a denim jacket on and the length of this jacket is giving something a little bit more it doesn't look as casual so this is probably one of my favorite looks <laughs> don't be surprised if you see me on the gram in this okay because i love it it's still that tennis skirt look but it's a whole dress you know, and there's nothing better than having like a dress, a jumpsuit or an outfit that you literally can just put on and you're kind of one and done. Those are sometimes some of my favorite looks because then I don't have to overthink, you know, what I'm going to put on. Okay, y'all, for my final look, I'm just basically going to show you the dress. <laughs> so this to me is something that you could easily wear to a backyard barbecue. If you were even going out on a beach day, if you were hanging out at the park with all the homies, with the family, I think that this dress paired simply with just some slide on dad sandals. These are my Gucci like um, two strap slides. I paired it with the matching bag um, and some Miu Miu sunglasses. Now, as you see, I'm not overly like accessorized. I don't have on too much because I think just allowing the dress and the tennis skirt to kind of speak for itself and letting the body do the talking, honey, is enough. Sometimes you don't have to add too much. You are the prize. You are the piece de resistance and you don't need to add anything else to the look. The color is such that it's like nude. So I'm really kind of showcased, but also you don't have to put on too much because again, we're doing a one and done type of look. The dress also does come with shorts, if I didn't say, and the shorts have like a little pocket for your phone if you needed it. This dress is really one of the best dresses I've ever picked up. And you know it's good when you get something in multiple colors. I love to just kind of throw it on and go. You know, obviously you can put on a jacket, you can throw on a sweatshirt, but just wearing it by itself and you're still cool and you don't have to worry about anything else is really cute. Once again, it does come with a hook in the back. So if you wanted to make it more of a racer back look, you could. This bag also does crossbody. So just imagine you could throw this over your, sh over your shoulder. You know, this is something you really too could wear to an amusement park if you just want it to be cool and comfortable, but you have your shorts. So you don't have to worry about showing anybody anything when you get on the rides. You know what I'm saying? And I love tennis skirts and to have them in both ways as a skirt and as a dress really is preparing you to have a versatile wardrobe. For somebody like me who hates summer clothing, <laughs> because I don't think that it actually like requires a lot of style. I mean, bodies are like beautiful. So in the summer, everybody just want to be naked. <laughs> like, and while I think it's cute, I like to get dressed. Having tennis skirts, I think are the perfect alternative to being able to get dressed and still looking put together, still looking hot, you know, all of those things. All right, hotties, that's it for me. I taught you how to style four different looks for your tennis skirt, one for your day and a night out, two for a casual day when you just wanna look chic for lunch, three when you wanna go from day to night very easily, and four for just a day out on the town. I love to always share with you guys how I like to put things together. Sometimes it's a matter of just being able to see somebody else do it so that you can get inspired. If you found this video helpful and fun, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share so that other hotties can figure out how to wear their tennis skirts this spring and summer. Remember, when you look at videos like this, it's not just so that you can copy what somebody has on, but so that you can get a little inspiration on how you can make the look all your own. As always, I'm excited when Friday comes around because I get to be with you and I can't wait to see you next week. Until then, bye.